Hey, greetings everybody and welcome back. This is Juice. So, um, over at the Tactical DCS channel, um, we have a lot of people looking for training and offering training uh, for various DCS modules. And a lot of people are posting uh, requests and their availability and their time zone. And a lot of times our instructors and students and uh, coaches and mentors and DCS live in various places all around the world. We've got people from South America, Europe, uh, Oceania, Asia. Uh, we've gotten in, we're one week old and we've got 800 people, uh, approaching 800 people in our Discord channel. And so we are attempting to get everybody as, as fast as we can uh, using Zulu time. And the reason you want to use Zulu time or universal turn, uh, coordinated time or UTC or universal time um, in the Greenwich Mean Time or GMT is we want to kind of get everybody on that UTC clock, uh, Zulu. And the reason we want to do that is because it's easier to coordinate when you're scheduling an event, you can put in there Zulu, and then you just have to know what Zulu is in relative to your. It's, and it's, sometimes Zulu is not the same day that you're in. So you may be in Zulu in one part of the world, but it may be Sunday six hours ahead of you or five hours behind you. And so, uh, so what we what I want to show you how to do is in Windows 10, it's real easy to, if you haven't already done this, go ahead and add a Zulu clock to your Windows 10 clock settings. And let's go through and do that. So you'll click, click down on the bottom down here, you'll bring up your clock and calendar. You'll hit date, time, settings at the bottom. This will bring up your, uh, your settings tab and has your date and time on it. Over here on the right, second blue line down should say add clocks for different time zones. And what you'll want to do is you'll It'll bring up this additional clock. You'll click show this clock right there. Let's see if I can make that a little, put it right, bring that in the middle. You'll click show this clock. And then you hit the drop down and scroll to where you find universal coordinated time, or co coordinated universal time, I'm sorry, UTC, UCT. And then what you'll do is uh, UTC, let's go, where did I have that? Right there, there it is, UTC. And UTC, you'll notice that there's no minus or plus hours from it. To give you an example, I am UTC minus seven hours right now. I'm on the West Coast, United States, Pacific time zone. And so I'm UTC minus seven. So then you can enter a name. I recommend going all caps and calling it Zulu. So it sticks out on your clock when you get done and everything. And then if you wanted to add additional clocks, um, you, can, uh, you can do additional clocks and add more and more. Uh, I believe you're allowed to add up to th two extra plus the base clock, which is on your system time. So once you do that, you'll hit OK or apply and then OK. And you'll go close out of this and you'll notice over here, I've got April 20th or April 2020. It is the 2nd of April. It is 1846 Zulu today. Now, if, if it was uh, yesterday or tomorrow, you would see yesterday or tomorrow or the day of the week. It would see like, you know, when this ticks over at midnight Zulu, it's going to say 017 on, uh, on um, Friday because today's Thursday and stuff. And then uh, there you go. You can always keep in track of, of what your time is and see what Zulu is. You can bring this up and say, hey, there's a there's like I'm getting together and fly with somebody at 20 hundred hours Zulu. So 1847, 19. 20, I've got an hour and 15 minutes. So I can look at this and I say, hey, I've got, it'll be in 15 minutes, it'll be roughly uh, noon at one o'clock my time local. And I can write that down and say, okay, I'll be back. So I hope this helps. I hope this helps bring everybody over to Zulu time in the group because it'll be a lot easier to schedule. Uh, it, this doesn't encourage you from training and flying with people in your time zone because of convenience because that's a great way to, uh, to network and share with all of this and stuff. So if you have any more questions, just put, uh, put it in the comments below or come over and contact me in the Discord page. Uh, the comments below will also have the Discord information in there if you guys want to come over and see us. Have a great day, and everybody stay safe. Uh, um, wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Uh, reach out, but don't touch, uh, to anybody in your community that might need help. Uh, you know, the elderly, you know, you want to keep your distance, but you also want to make sure that they have all what they need, uh, especially shut-ins, uh, people that uh, don't have a lot of family in the area and stuff like that. Uh, say hi to your neighbors. while uh, Smile through the windows and keep a smile on your face all the time. Cheers, everybody.